What's up? Good morning. Um, so this is my story, and I felt like it was time to tell you. And so it's going to be a little bit long, but um, it is what it is, first off. Listen, I am not married, as most people think we are not. Um, I am married to Kalina. Me and Melissa are just friends, you know, best friends, and I have a few best friends, but Melissa is my best friend. We've um, been on this since February last year, and so I am grateful for her. She's been helping me so much, and um, yeah, those of you who think I have all this money, I don't. Um, people want to judge you, and they feel like they know so much about you without even spending time to get to know you, right? And so it's just funny that we have a society of just judges. And um, yeah, so I wanted to share with you my story, how I began, and my life so you understand who I am and what I'm about. And so, but first off, this is not working. I could sit here and tell you I have, look at that. Negative eight four zero point two one, negative eight four zero point five one. That's how much I have in my back account right now, and the reason I could do that. Okay, well, Amazon screwed me over, and so they owe me money when they were supposed to um, cancel um, the free time that I didn't have. Oh, all right. But I just see. I have no problem stating that because money isn't everything. I've negative eight hundred dollars in there plus, but I'm still pushing a great content. Melissa's pushing a great content. Clean is pushing a great content, and I know at some point um, one of you out there who has a lot more money, a lot more resources, is going to come in and say, "Hey, here X, Y, and Z. Let's build, continue to build, and continue to help." You know, it's just a matter of when so if you there and you're ready you know just message me and get started but if if you want to judge me judge me if you want to hate me hate me if you want to be of a racism go ahead but if you don't watch this video and understand who I am then you can't say nothing to me because for frankly I don't really care you know um, and uh, I'm not gonna cuss, but you know, F words or whatever it is, you know, I don't care, you know, screw you, whatever, whatever, whatever. I was born in Grenada, in the West Indies, and I am going back there in about a week and a half for two weeks. Gonna make some dope content. Um, I look forward to it. I haven't been home since 2007 when I took BJ there. He was uh, almost two years old. So, this is the second time I'm going. To Grenada, where I was born, um, since I left in '88, and those of you who don't know, in '83, the United States actually um, occupied Grenada for, but I think it was two weeks, two weeks to a month. You know, they invaded Grenada. Yes, America, the United States invaded my country of birth. I remember not um, being able to go outside because of the soldiers. But the thing is, you don't come into somebody's country, and not know how the countries run, how the, the landscape is. So of course, you know, they had to go back with it. The, the, um, the tails behind the ass. And I'm a citizen, so I could say that, you know. It is what it is, it's in the past. I grew up running around barefooted. Um, I grew up walking my feet in the sand, you know, and I enjoy that type of life, you know, the cool breeze is just who I am. You know, being here in this apartment is just superficial. I don't really care. You know, that's why you see there's nothing up on the walls because it's, for one, it's too big. You know, it's safe, but I'm still in a little box, you know, and like I say, you can have a million dollars, but you still have problems. You know, I see millionaires all the time um, driving around here and still having to shitty parking, still have to be in the shitty ass um, traffic. So that doesn't um, make you who you are. You know, just superficial. And so, 
I grew up with my grandparents and my aunts. My mom had me when she was like 17, so she was young. I never really knew my mom until I was maybe six or seven, you know. I believe I started to know my mom. Same thing with my cousin and um, me and my cousin Josh. Man, we were like, grew up like just thick and thieves. He always get in trouble. And even though I did something wrong, he got in trouble. So I know like, you know what me and my cousin have been through and that's why I have none of my love for him. So I uh, eventually went to St. Croix in 88. I was there for maybe a year, I think. And after that, I went to New York for like a year with my grand aunt, my, my grandmother's uh, sister and my cousins. Then, um, bless you, mama. Then uh, I am a dad. This is what dad looks like. Um, I went to, uh, after New York, I went back to St. Croix. And then from St. Croix, um, I was there for a little bit. Hurricane Hugo came, destroyed the island, wiped it out. Initially, I walked to the island. So, I remember getting um, one of the big military jets, the really big ones. Most of us went to Florida. And I was there in Florida for a few years. Then I went from Florida. Um, I went to high school in West Palm Beach for a year. Then I moved to New York. I'm not New York, but uh, Maryland. And I was there for three years. I joined the military my junior year in high school because I wanted to get away. So, as you see, I moved around a lot. It wasn't my fault. And with that, I had a lot of depression and anxiety, which I still do today. And just grateful for um, CBD helping me. Let's see here. Um, yeah, my mom was abused. So that's the reason why I moved around a lot. Um, and so, yeah, I had a rough childhood. I was alone a lot, but it allowed me to see the world for what it is. I've always been awakened. I just couldn't know how to put it into perspective. You see things for what it is. You see how society, you see everybody's just, you know, batteries in this world. We all killing ourselves to please people who don't care about us. Like there's one guy right now, I read it. It was going on and on and on, on about me posting about CBD. I'm like, I'm the only one here posting. I don't see nobody else posting any educational content. Don't get mad with me. Like, dude, you know, if you're angry or whatever you're going through, um, you don't project it on me because you're going through whatever it is. Do you know, um, if you want to push um, education content, go ahead and post it. Yo, post away. Help us out. But don't get mad because I'm the only, only one posting stuff, you know? Um, people are just like, shitty, man. I'm not gonna put myself, dung down myself to please you because you're not taking care of me. You're not helping me. You're not grinding with me. I have three kids. I'm a dad. Um, this is what a dad looks like. I gotta shave, but I don't care, you know? I was wearing a uniform in the military I know how to rock a three-piece suit. I just prefer not to. This is this is how I am. Look at that. Stains and all. You know, I have kids, man. And when you have kids, kids pee on you, kids poop on the floor, kids poop on the bed. Um, and that's my life, you know? That's what I've been through. I'm always about giving to people. Um, been in shitty relationships where I just give, give, give. And I ended up just being depressed. Well, we all depressed. You just, I let it get to the best of me to where I started eating and getting all the way that um, I shouldn't have because I am a natural skinny person. I grew up skinny. My kids are skinny. Um, and so I let myself go trying to please women who didn't really care. Like the last relationship, every single week, she keeps saying, oh, she wants a rich guy, she wants a rich guy. Like, how disrespectful is that to be with somebody who keeps telling you they want to be with somebody who's rich? That means the person only cares about money. And I'm so grateful that I left their relationship because I'm looking back now and looking at where she's at. You're like, you're not happy, you miserable as shit, and you want to take it out on me still to this day. But you're just miserable, and that's what people are. 
And so I'm not gonna let anybody take away my shine or the way I feel about myself because I'm here to help people. And I've always been helping people since everyone's forever. I'm all the one helping with homework. You know, I love math, science, biology. I'm very educated. Um, I watch a lot of documentaries. Um, I've been all over the world. Um, and I see people suffer like in Turkey. When I was in the military back then, in the 90s, um, women had to suffer for the men. So if a guy, the husband, did something wrong, steal something, he had to pay back 500. His wife had to go work in a whole house, you know, um, to pay that off. So I used to go with friends when I was in the military um, to them, play, to them, to the whole houses and stuff. Or they call us what they call them, but you know, the prostitutes. The wives was there. I used to sit there. And just, I never had sex with them. I should just sit there and just talk to them, right? Because I'm, I'm, I like to learn. And the women should say how they're just there paying off the bills from the husband because the husband's doing this, you know, and they didn't want suffering. And it saddens you to see how women are forced into a lifestyle and a pattern that they, a lot of them never get out of, and they become slaves to that system. And you see it now, it's like, it's worse now. And as more technology improves, more things are come out. And I'm scared for my kids. So I have to do what I need to do to make sure my daughter is well taken care of. And there's no things I wouldn't do for her because she's my angel, she speaks to me, she protects me. She's like, she always tells me every day, be careful. You know, there's a lot of snakes out here. <laughs> You gotta be careful of the people out here. She's always saying that. But my CBD journey. Um, three years ago, September, I, um, I started this journey. I have osteoarthritis, I have torn ligaments, I have pins and needles in my fingers. So I can't do a lot of what I used to do. But um, before that, I used to do photography. I've been in, in the entertainment industry. For almost, uh, almost 20 years now, wow. And I've smoked weed with celebrities. And I say that because it um, doesn't really matter, you know? But I'm using what I learned to build what I have. So three years ago, I uh, went looking for um, CBD. My buddy told me, hey, um, why don't you try CBD for your pain? Because I was using um, a lot of those cr those creams, the Tylenol creams. And so we went to a head shop and I got really, really high off that at work. I was got paranoid. And the only reason I knew that it was synthetics is because I smoked weed. So I knew that um, feeling like being high, is, that wasn't CBD, you know, from what I read. So I came online, I saw that same CBD brands that was on the market that was selling products are the same one pushing reviews. So I started doing reviews. Um, started on Reddit. And so the Reddit sub CBD that was controlled by dude in Buddha Spader. And so I met up, connected with Jonathan. He was in Orlando at the, at the time. And so I started modding. And let's see, I started doing, I started doing reviews heavily, doing CBD giveaways before anybody else was doing it because everybody was afraid to just be different. Everyone was afraid to help people. And so, there was drama there. One of the main sub, the guy Buddha, he was doing with affiliates, making a lot of money. I, I looked at it, I just count, I count, I calculated, I looked. I'm like, okay, this dude's making bank, $100,000 a month, you know? He's probably making more than that. He was also doing stocks. And the other mods there was like doing all this work. He wasn't doing nothing. He was doing nothing really. The mods just killing themselves, and the dude wasn't sharing the money. I was like, wow. So they all had, so they all got pissed, and they were like, Bevan, help me. So what I ended up doing, I created this sub CBD info, and you know, been just pushing. Um, I, I was like, man, can't have any affiliates on the sub. I had a few affiliates on the website because the money was used to help the um, server costs. I was working from, let's see, nine o'clock in the morning to six o'clock in the um, evening in my day job as a web developer. I hated it, I was in pain, life sucked. Management sucked, 
you know, they don't care about you. They, they brag in your face about where they're going on vacation and you, they're killing yourself for them and they don't really care about you. Giving you a $20 um, gift card for Christmas, that's so, so disrespectful. So in between them, I was just grinding. I was doing blogs. I was up to one o'clock at night, you know, after I put my son to bed, eight, nine o'clock, um, feeding him, shower, you know, I was writing. I was educating myself. And I was the only one doing it, you know, of all the mods. Everybody was doing stuff, but they couldn't keep up because they didn't want it bad. Everybody wants everything now. They want it and they want to put in the work. Like, you want to be a millionaire, but you want to put in the work for it. Like, I've put in the work up one o'clock every single day, just writing, writing, writing content, content, content. Doing reviews, you know what I'm saying? Pushing out these reviews. Like, I was like, I never wanted to push out reviews every day like everybody else was doing for, you know, I got tired of people like, oh, you know, they want, you gotta, you gotta be a slave for like 10%. And I was like, man, I'm done. I can't be honest, I can't be transparent, I can't be neutral, I can't be who I am if I have to chase the 10%. So I got rid of that and I was just still pushing the content Friday and Saturday night up to four o'clock in the morning because I knew there's something better. I, you know, I started taking care of myself, doing yoga, you know, eating better, starting with smoothies. And to this day, I lost over 40 pounds. I don't know how much I weigh right now because I don't have a scale, but I've lost over 50, 40, 50 pounds. And so don't, people can't come and tell me that, you know, I'm shitty, I'm just that because I've put in the work. I've killed myself. I, my hands are killing me right now. And um, last December, I just like, I'm done with my job because I was in pain, I was depressed. My hand was, this is when my hand just finally gave out. Nobody from my job reached out to me. And actually, we had two people, Christy and, Sh and Sharon. I love you both. And I hope to see you all in Miami um, next week. But everybody else, nobody reached out. Oh, we tried calling you, nobody called me. They all, all I saw they was on Slack. We're Bevan at, anybody see Bevan? And nobody wants to pick up the phone and call Bevan. So the next day I sent a letter, I'm like, my hands are bad, I can't work anymore. I'm done. And I quit. I said, I retired from that, from that and I've just been pushing. And uh, yeah, it's been a struggle, but I'm still here. And so, whew, that was a lot, right? And those of you who are still here, that means I know you love me. And if you're still here and you leave a comment and let me know, then I know that you're somebody who's Supporting, ooh, it's been almost 18 minutes, okay. I told you it's gonna be long. Um, so let's see here. Right, um, so I met Melissa in February last year. She was going through some stuff. And I was like, yo, there's a better way to do this because I saw her in me, I saw me in her. Like when I started um, working in the industry, boss, he didn't, really care. He's gonna care of himself, you know? Like, I don't wanna be that kind of person. You know, I always remind myself, don't be like him, don't be like him. And that's why I tell Melissa, I'm like, yo, you just trust. I'm like, I'm not here to jerk you around. Like, you never, she never left the state, right? The area she's at. So her first time come to LA hang out with me in April, when we connected with Young Jin, um, last year was her first time leaving the state like that. Then she came to Florida her first time, and now we're going to Grenada for our first time. I'm excited, you know, because I want to show her where I was born, show her the country, have some fun, you know, to record some content with no distractions. Um, it's going to be very fun. So I'm grateful for her and, um, and Kalina really helping me be the best version of myself. And it takes a village because in Grenada, people help each other out. It's not like you go there and nobody really cares too much, you know, about what you have. Because people are happy. You don't need money to be happy. But April last year, met Young Jin, and I'm like, yo, man, we're gonna be this forever because you support me when nobody else does. I'm like, I tell everybody, hey, I'm coming to LA. And him and uh, Kim was the only two that showed up. Then uh, back then, connected with um, uh, Chantel, and that didn't work out. You know, but I'm grateful because I learned who's who, and I'm, I kept. I stay true to myself because at the end of the day, everybody, the only one that they want, they don't want to put in the work. 
like in the CB industry, those of you who come into the space now, who you may have all this resources, you may have all this money, but at the end of the day, at some point, you have to come through us because we're, we're the gatekeepers. We're the ones doing this, you know, for love, and people respect that. And you can't buy that. You can have all the money where you can't buy that. And I'm watching everybody else who's started with me, who's still doing reviews for money, pushing 10% here. I'm like, half of you are all gone, and the rest of you are going to be gone soon because when regulations come, a lot of people are going to wake up and see that you can't sell something for people, someone's health just for a 10% because you don't know where the source in it is, you don't know where it's coming from, you don't know who's the person behind the product. You know, it could be junk, you use, and you stick in there. You know, there's a lot of snake out there. So you have to be very, very careful. Um, I know I'm going around the place, but I'm just talking for what pops into my head. So, you you, you know, um, let's see. Came back in June, and all of us hung out. The engine took us around, and I walked around downtown. I saw all this, um, the homeless just sitting right next to the brand new buildings, like them 10 feet. People just walk in, they don't really care. I'm like, wow, people are really just only about themselves. Um, so I ended up leaving Reddit, right? And I didn't leave, I still was there. I just more of my focus over on Instagram and uh, Facebook to learn and to grow and to build the audience because people are nationwide, not just one place. And so people on Reddit are like, oh, um, nobody's doing any content. A lot of spam, I come back, people are upset at me because I'm posting stuff. I'm like, nobody's posting anything. Like, how are you gonna get mad at me for being the only person posting anything when you're not doing anything? If you upset that upset, then write. You know, don't be a hater. You know, like, like, man, I just laugh. But yeah, that's my story, man. Um, I have a lot more to talk about, but. You gotta learn, you gotta know me. And at the end of the day, you know, I don't really care what people say because I know I'm here to help people who really need help. And I'm excited for Miami. You know, I'm grateful for those who's been helping me, Dr. Rubenstein, Dr. John Kim, Dr. Krishna, Dr. Jasmine, um, you know, Dr. Dr. Uh, so much other doctors has been helping. Um, and I'm just grateful for the future. You know, Josh, um, Alex, can't wait for Miami. It's going to be nice, man. I appreciate everyone so, so much. So, got to know me before you judge me. And if you, are, if you are somebody who has resources, if you are somebody who um, can afford to help us grow this, and can you just imagine how, um, what I can do with a negative $800 in my bank account and what I can do when I have legit resources behind me. Yeah. Something's coming and um, all I gotta say, with the other resources, do what I want and it's coming because somebody's out there who's gonna be like here, X, Y, and Z, let's do this. And when you're ready, I'm right here, let me know. I love you all. Sharing is caring as always. Health is wealth. Knowledge is power. And um, this will always be a safe space. And for those of you who've been buying our shirts, um, that goes to our nonprofit, B Plant. I appreciate you. And it's www.bplant.org. And the website is www.cbd.how. Um, yeah, that's it. I am who I am. And I'll do this again um, in another video. Um, Thank you, CBD.